Hello, let us solve this one. So here we have Maria, Peter, Richard and Tina and they are playing football in the classroom. While playing, window pane was broken. Now teacher asked all four kids and they gave following statements. Maria says it was Peter, Peter says it was Richard, Richard says it wasn't me, Tina says it wasn't me. Now later on it became very clear that only one child spoke the truth. So it means one person is speaking truth and three people, raised three people are lying. But we do not know who speaks truth out of these four. And here based on the statement we need to find who broke the glass. Very simple. So here we will solve this by method of contradiction. I will tell you what is that. So here we need to assume turn by turn each kid that they are correct. So let's say out of four people who speaks truth is Maria. So if Maria speaks the truth, it means Peter broke the window, right? Now these three statements must be false. But if you observe Tina, then Tina is speaking truth. Tina says it wasn't me and that is right. Because based on what we assumed that Maria speaks the truth, based on our assumption, it is clear that Peter broke. So that means if Tina says I did not break, she is right and two people cannot be right, only one person is right. So our assumption is wrong. Now let's think about the Peter. If Peter is correct, it means these people are giving false statements. If Peter is giving true statement, then window is broken by Richard. But in that case also, Tina is giving correct statement. Only one person gives correct statement. But if you consider Peter's statement correct, then Tina's statement will also be correct. Tina says it wasn't me and she was not. It is broken by Richard. So again contradiction. Now let's work on third thing that is very important, Tina. Let's say Tina is telling the right thing and these people are telling false things. Here you need to think in more detail. So Tina is telling the truth that it wasn't me. It means she did not break the window. Now let us think about what is the false of this statement. This is the statement given by them. But if this statement is false, then what will be the scenario? This is the statement given by them and based on our assumption, this is false statement. So true, if you think opposite to that, what is true? If this is false, what is true? Then it wasn't me. Opposite to that is it was me. If you think opposite of this, it was Richard, it was, it was not Richard. Now again, if you think about these two things, then there is a contradiction. There is a contradiction because Richard says it was me and Peter says it was not Richard. So both are telling opposite things. Richard says it was me and Peter says it was not Richard. So there is a contradiction here also. So that means even Tina did not give the correct statement. So now we came to know that correct statement is only given by Richard. If correct statement is only given by Richard, it means there must be all people false. And we need to make sure that there is no contradiction. If we get contradiction here also, then your answer should be it cannot be decided. We cannot decide based on information given. But let's work on this before we decide anything. So if Richard is telling the correct statement, then that means Richard did not break the window. Now let's think about the false statement of everyone. So Maria's statement is it was Peter, but that is false, right? So that means correct statement will be it was not Peter. It was Richard, it means it was not Richard. And Tina, it wasn't me, that means it was me. So now there is no contradiction here. It was not Peter. Okay. It was not Richard. Okay. It was me. So there is no contradiction and Richard already said it wasn't me. So based on this conclusion, we can say it is broken by Tina. So you find this kind of question really very hard. I know that, but I try to make it as easy as I can. I hope you find it useful.